Hey guys, Kevin with Lifestyle Overland here. Welcome to How To Tuesday. Today we're talking about onboard diagnostics for your vehicle and how you can use the output module found on your vehicles built after 1996 to monitor and troubleshoot system health while you're on the go or broke down in the middle of nowhere. Let's jump right into this with a quick overview of the features found in the Torque Pro app. Now for starters, you can keep an eye on your engine vitals through the real-time information display. This fully customizable layout can be tailored to fit your needs and include readouts for coolant temps, voltage output, intake temps, ambient temps, GPS speed, mass airflow, air to fuel ratio, and many more. You can also record zero to 60 and quarter mile times from this layout. The next feature that we feel makes this app truly worth the $4.95 price tag is the fault codes reader. With this function, you're gonna be able to scan the vehicle computer for fault codes, which can be a huge help when you're trying to determine if a check engine light is a sign of a serious component failure or a minor sensor issue. You can also use this app to clear fault codes, which can potentially override sensor errors that reduce performance or even immobilize the vehicle. Obviously, you'll wanna use this option with great care and thought as you can inflict worse damage on the vehicle under certain circumstances. There's also a handy map view screen that tracks your trips and allows you to review speed and altitude along the route, along with markers for engine notifications and fault codes. This could be handy if you're trying to troubleshoot when an engine issue occurs or simply share your travels after a trip. You can even go deeper into the functionality with exploring the test results and graphing interfaces. So, how does this system work? Well, first you're going to need an Android device because this program is not available on iOS. Now, Apple folks, don't run off just yet. While this might be a deal breaker for some people, we highly recommend finding a cheap Android tablet or used Android device to add to your kit to use as a dedicated diagnostic tool. Keep watching and we'll show you why you'll want this. For this video, we'll be using the Samsung Tab 2 tablet, but this app works on phones as well. You'll also need an OBD2 reader that has Bluetooth capabilities in order to talk to the vehicle wirelessly. We went with the highest rated unit on Amazon made by BAFX Products and it's been rock solid for us for the past five years. We recommend an extension cable if your OBD2 port location would put the reader in harm's way. Now that you have all the hardware and software in hand, let's walk you through the setup. Install the ribbon cable, then attach the reader and secure it in a safe location. Make sure it doesn't interfere with your pedals, airbags, or emergency brake lever. It's not required for the engine to be running for these steps, but you do need it switched to accessory. Open the Bluetooth menu on your device and pair the OBD2 reader using the PIN number included with the unit. This is usually 0000 or 1234. Next, open the Torque app and navigate to the OBD2 adapter settings and ensure the connection type is set to Bluetooth. Then select the adapter. Once connected, you're all set to start setting up your app. Start by opening the settings and creating a vehicle-specific profile. This will allow you to accurately play with some of the fuel mileage tracking features. Now, some engine and transmission PIDs, or proportional integral derivatives, are not available within a stock app installation without some custom programming. Thankfully, someone has already put a lot of effort into developing these additional formulas, and a quick internet search will usually point you in the right direction for your make and model. In this instance, we found them available on toyota4runner.org by a user named Jeremy B. Thanks, Jeremy. Once you've found the CSV, comma separated value, file for your custom PIDs, download the file and navigate to your My Files app on your device. Under the settings, you want to click the Show Hidden Files option to allow the Torque folders to appear. Now, unzip the file and save it to a folder called Extended PIDs within the .torque folder. You may have to create this folder if it's not already in the directory. Now, Head back to the Torque settings and open the Manage Extra PIDs slash Sensors setting in the upper right drop down menu. Select Add Predefined Set and then your file should appear here. Tap the file and your custom PIDs will be imported. The biggest reason for doing this on the 4Runner is to unlock the transmission input and output temperatures. Okay, now you can go to the real time information screen and take a look around at the standard gauges and telemetry. You can adjust any of these readouts in size, gauge type, and description. There are also many other gauges that can be added to create a purpose-built display. But let me save you some time. You can actually export gauge layouts from the program and share them with friends. So, feel free to download our layout from the video description to jumpstart your own custom gauge layout. 
Once downloaded, you simply select the settings button from the real-time interface and select layout settings, then import layout and select the downloaded file. Now, if you don't like our style gauges, you can adjust those as well and even download user created skins that suit your taste. The nice part is that the layout can remain and you can simply swap gauge themes. We built two primary layouts that we use. One is set up for towing and the other is set up for off-road travel. We like to keep a close eye on our transmission temps, especially on long mountain climbs and high ambient temp locations like Death Valley. Now that your layout is complete, it's time to go for a drive and make sure you're receiving data from the gauges you imported or built. This is also a great time to run a fault code check to see if there are any active or historical faults in the system. I will note that sometimes the fault codes do not include a description of the issue and instead provides you with a link to look it up online. Now obviously this can be difficult from a remote location, so it's great to have an emergency communication set up like a ham radio or satellite texting device and an outside source who can look up that information for you. The only downside to this app is the fact that it's only available on Android. But as you can see now, it's a highly customizable app which would be difficult to operate on a more conservative iOS operating system. But we feel it's worth the investment in an inexpensive Android device. If you absolutely have to stay with an iOS device, don't worry, there are some other apps out there. And while they're much more limited, they can give you some of the outputs you're looking for. When you're ready to buy all the parts needed for this setup, then see the video description for links to save you some time searching. Don't forget to download the custom layout and PIDs file found there as well. This program has played a huge role in our travels and has helped us and others troubleshoot engine codes in the backcountry. While we've covered the important parts of the app, there's still some aspects that we did not touch on. Things like fuel mileage tracking, custom alarms, and quite a few third-party plugins for special uses like a driving camera with telemetry overlay. If you have any questions about the app, please post them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and tell us what you liked below. If you dislike the video, give it two thumbs down and tell us where we can improve next time. All right, folks, that about wraps up our how-to setup for the Torque Pro app. We hope you've enjoyed this how-to video. Until next time, safe travels, and remember to leave our public lands better than you found them. All right, let's go.